What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on BBIG ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with fundamentals of this company that might affect uh, the price uh, of this uh, stock. And at the end of this video, I will show you my forecast uh, and the technical analysis for the probable price action. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point uh, and I've told you that my main assumption was uh, that we might uh, go lower from this very point and uh, my assumption was based uh, on fading support uh, from uh, uh, Wall Street bets uh, community and from uh, retail investors and uh, I've showed you this uh, in my previous video and uh, basically we have uh, the same pattern for now but from the technical standpoint I I've told you that uh, if we will have a next candle right after this one that is opened below the 55 exponential moving average and uh, that will be closed below this uh, moving average and uh, this uh, will be a bearish sign and if we will hit the 0.5 level, uh, this means that we might have a lower price action and this was my main assumption. But instead of this, next candle was green one and uh, it was opened above the 55 exponential moving average and it was closed above uh, this moving average. And this means uh, this candle shows uh, that we were losing the negative momentum and basically right after that, as you can see, we were hovering above uh, the 55 exponential moving average and at the end of uh, previous session we had a massive spike up in volume and in price and uh, we have uh, this continuation on extended hours. So, my technical analysis and forecast uh, for this uh, ticker I will show you in a minute. And for now, I just admit that uh, my main assumption was incorrect and I was wrong with this prediction. But it is totally okay. As I already mentioned, uh, my win rate is about 70 to 75 percent. And uh, it is totally okay to miss the trade because uh, you didn't lose any money at all. You just uh, didn't earn this money. And in my opinion, the main goal for all the traders is to protect their capital and right after that second target is to earn some money and that is why it is totally okay to miss the trade rather than to lose some money so let's continue with fundamentals of this company and uh, let's start uh, first of all with the company information Avinco Ventures leverages the new market opportunity by utilizing their BIG strategy buy innovate grow and their recent uh, activity was related to two main news. First of all, it is their acquisition of uh, Lomotiv uh, app and second one, it is their activity on NFT sector. And uh, we don't have uh, recent news uh, that uh, might affect uh, the price of uh, their stocks and that's why we don't have enough fundamentals uh, from the news standpoint to see this uh, price action. Let's continue with the uh, numbers. For now, its total market cap is $554.77 million. They have a revenue of $13.91 million with a negative net income of $250.94 million. They have very good revenue growth of 75.11% and their total cash position is quite decent. They have $75.65 million with a total debt of $5.75 million. So, they don't uh, have uh, outstanding financials, uh, but uh, it is still rather decent, despite of this negative net income that is highly above uh, their revenue. And I made a video about uh, these numbers uh, several days ago, and there you can find all the necessary information in order to make your own conclusion with their financials. So, let me show you some more news about this company. If you type uh, in uh, Google BBIG stock, uh, you won't find uh, any recent news that is uh, describing the current uh, spike in price that we had just uh, several hours ago. And uh, that is why my main assumption that it was uh, just a random spike with uh, Wall Street bets uh, activity. And let me show you this. We are on akivirkan.com and this website tracks uh, the activity on social media related to different tickers. And right here uh, we have a BBIG ticker again among the list uh, of most mentioned uh, tickers. And uh, let me show you number terminal. Right here you can find uh, the BBIG ticker 
am on top uh, seven, I guess, on the seventh position. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, on the seventh position. And uh, it has uh, 120 mentions during last uh, 24 hours. And uh, it has a slight increase uh, in mentions uh, during, uh, if you compare it with previous days. But uh, the trend is bearish. And that is why, in my opinion, it is uh, difficult to assume that we might have a trend continuation. But everything is possible, and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, for those of you who want to enter your position with this ticker for now, I think it is not the best point, because we have previous uh, all-time high at the level of uh, $11.87. And uh, this uh, might be very strong resistance, because we don't have uh, enough volume during after hours. Definitely we have a huge spike in volume on this uh, last candle. But uh, it's uh, not enough, in my opinion, to have a trend continuation. That is why my main assumption that we have to wait until we will see some price action around these levels. Because uh, for now, if you enter your position right here, you have an upside potential for about uh, 6%, not more than 6.5% uh, to hit previous uh, all-time high. And uh, definitely if we will break this level and retest it from the top, potentially we might have a next leg to the upside. But uh, I have to warn you that if we switch to daily time frame, Right here you can see that uh, we have uh, this uh, structure on RSI and if uh, the price action will exceed the level of uh, 11.87, this means we will form a bearish divergence and this bearish divergence means that uh, we might have a trend reversal. So I don't think that uh, we might hit uh, some higher targets because uh, we don't have enough steam, we still have uh, low volume right here much lower than we had previously. And if we compare it uh, even on four hours time frame, let me show it to you, these movements to the upside was with much, much higher volume than we have for now. That is why, in my opinion, you have to be cautious with entering the position. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. In this case, you won't miss my next video. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.